Now we take you to uh, another young man that we know who is a native of Ohio and spent some time there. Hey, Bell. Hey, Martha. We want to drill down now, show you what happened four years ago and see what we can figure out as to what's moving in Ohio right now based on John's reporting right there, results from 2008. It favored Barack Obama in Ohio. We took the state and its electoral votes then. Did it by four and a half, some five points over Senator McCain, 52 to 47 percent. We just saw Governor Romney and uh, the vice presidential nominee, Paul Ryan. They're in um, Westerville, Ohio, which borders right here in Franklin County. Columbus, Ohio bumps up against Delaware County, which is a quickly growing area to the north. Westerville is right here. But Columbus, Ohio is a place that Barack Obama cleaned up 61 to 39 percent over John McCain. Why is that important? Because Barack Obama, again, will win likely in the big cities, Cleveland and Columbus this time around, which means Governor Romney has to drive up those numbers out in the rural areas in the southwestern part of the state. But what we found in Ohio is that the politician, the man who can convince voters that they can create jobs in Ohio, will win the job for four more years. Brad Hutchinson chased his American dream with a high school education and 13 years of hard work. So you built this company? Absolutely. From start to finish. His impressive heavy equipment business, which employs 140 people in the tiny town of Carroll, Ohio, was on its way back until he says the economy stalled this past summer. There was a lot of jobs slated to start and guys just put the brakes on. And a lot of what we're hearing from the industry is it's due to this election. Hutchinson recently laid off seven employees and says he can't even consider bringing them back into the White House as decided. The state's unemployment number is 7.2 percent, which is about a point lower than the national average. But many argue that hardly reveals the whole story across a state of nearly 12 million people. Ohio's recovery has been uneven. It really depends on where you are in the state. This past summer, unemployment, it dropped in half of its 88 counties. But even at that rate, it will take Ohio three and a half years to get back to where it was. Fifth generation home builder Henry Diani says he's finally emerging from the recession. At the height of the economic boom, he was building more than 200 homes a year. Then he hit the wall. Diani did not put up a single house for three years. This year, he's built five, and for him, the election is all about jobs. Uh, unemployment means people can't buy washing machines, cars, and homes, you know? So uh, this, this is a key. If we go and do the same thing we've done the last couple of years, you're going to see the economy drop back down again. He'll vote for Governor Romney, but the carpenter who works for him will not. I mean, he took over a heck of a mess. Dennis Taylor thinks uh, President Obama needs more up. time. I, got, you know, I believe in him. So you have faith in the president? Oh, yeah. And you'll vote for him? Oh, hell yeah. The latest polls show that Ohio will fulfill yet again its reputation as the battleground in America. The race is close, but the president holds a slight lead. It's not about whether Ohio's doing that much better. It's this argument between Romney and Obama. Who can do a better job of bringing the country totally back? Mm. So here's what you have. You have unemployment at 7.2 percent. The underemployment number is at 14 percent. So how does that factor? It can be a marvelously confounding state of Ohio. Unemployment in the southeastern part of the state is around 13 percent. Mm -hmm. And the northwestern part of the state is four and a half. So now you go to try to figure out how these measure out or how they balance one another out. And a lot of people say, you know, why is it such a battleground? Well, you know, it's a reflection of America. You have mm -hmm. big cities. You have rural yeah. countrysides. You have big university towns where students vote. And then you have a lot of farmland. Right. You have huge minorities in, in Ohio as well, which can swing election. They, they did in 2008. Well. And union vote. And there is a large, large middle yeah. class in Ohio, which is the reason why we keep our focus on it so greatly now, especially in these economic times. 18 electoral votes. No Republican has ever won the White House without winning Ohio. And that's why you see Romney and Ryan today yeah. in central Ohio. We think of you like that, kind of. Just a conglomerate of, of all of America in our own Bill Hammer nice. from Ohio. I'll take that.